and welcome to Art from the Cottage. So I'm going to show you what you can do if you really decide that you hate your painting. You know, you get to the end of your painting and you think, ooh, no, I don't like it. It's a shame because you spent a lot of time on it. But you know, there's always a part of those paintings that you actually like. You know, and you think, oh, that's a shame. I really like that bit. Well, let me tell you what you can do. Okay, well, let's say that you didn't like this. You did this painting and you didn't like it. So I'll tell you what we can do. We can take part of it and we can put it in a frame. And we might like that um, aspect. We can get more sky by going like that. And we could frame it there. We could get a little bit of the foreground and the cottages and the sky and frame it there. We could get that view with more sky and the trees and the cottage. Or we could get more foreground with the cottages and a little bit of sky. We could do this here for a simple, very simple landscape. We could do that. Let's, um, let's just cover the rest of the painting just a sec. So I've hidden the um, rest of the painting and now you're left with a nice little landscape. So just because you do a painting and you get it wrong, you don't like it when you've finished it, you could, I could get about four separate paintings out of this one canvas. I showed you the, the, other, um, the other views. So yeah, I could get one, I could get two, oops, two, I could get three, I could get four. Four, at least four paintings out of that one canvas. So that's that. Let's see what else we can find. So here's another painting. And let's say you didn't like it. You didn't like a section of it. There you go. You just frame it, frame a part of it. And you can take that canvas off the, off the um, stretches. You can take it off and you can just lay it flat on a, you know, you could even put it in the frame behind glass. You can do whatever you like. You could do, just get some sky on it, a little tiny bit of the trees there, or the, or the, um, the lake, and lots of sky. You could get a bigger frame, of course. You could just do, let's see, that. That makes quite a nice, that one there makes quite a nice uh, painting. And... You can do a part of a painting as well. If you say you did that painting, you didn't like it. I could now do just that view. I could put a frame around it and and just reproduce that view. It'll be different because the sky will be different. So so that'll be all right. So that's that. That's that one. And here's a water lily painting, and that. If you just had that, that view there, you see it? That would make a beautiful painting on its own. Very money. So, here is a landscape that you decided you didn't like. But how about if you did that? Would you like it then? You know, um, you could do that. 
just cut it down to there. You can have it more about the sky or more about the foreground, like that. That's rather nice. And what else we can do is, whoops, oh dear, I've got all my frames here. Just a sec. Um, you could go like that, you could cut it down. Because you can cut these down. Look at that. That pretty. Or you could have it sort of half and half. Some foreground and some trees and the field. A little bit of sky. Or you could have it all about the foreground. Like this. Or, you know, that kind of thing. There's not much interest going on there. But you could have, you could do this. Oh, how sweet is that? Oh, this, no, this was the one. How, how cute is that? Look at that. Tiny, tiny little landscape. And another water lily painting. And what we do here is this. And you know, you can go and get frames from car boot sales or charity shops and you can get some lovely, lovely frames and take the picture out and put yours in. And that looks quite nice there as well. Quite a classic painting in a classic frame. And and even that that's quite nice. I like I like it because it's square. That's attractive. That would be lovely in a bedroom or, a, you know, that would go really well in like a Georgian house or something like that. And here's that little tiny one again. Just it's not too bad, but I think the painting might be too big. So anyway, you've got the idea of what, um, you know, what you can do. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it stopped you from throwing those paintings away that you decided you didn't like. And if you liked the video, it would be lovely if you would um, press the like button. And I would be delighted if you decided to subscribe to my channel. And with that, I'll say bye for now. And as always, love from Cornwall.